Hi, it's your girl Winnie of Delicious Foods and today I'm going to be showing you how to make something new using Ofata rice. Ofata rice is popularly known as Nigerian brown rice and it is mostly consumed by the Yoruba tribe. Today I'm going to be making fried Ofata rice with fried chicken. I bet you have never heard that before. Most people are used to eating their Ofata rice plain with Ofata sauce. But there's a new way to enjoy this rice and I'm going to show you how. So let's get right into it. I've started by prepping out all of my ingredients. Usually I prep before I start cooking. I'm going to start by heating up my pot here. Next I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of olive oil. And I've set my heat to medium heat so that my food doesn't burn. Next I'm going to add half a cup of finely diced onions. And I'm going to sauté it for 30 to 35 seconds. So I'll just keep stirring it around so it doesn't burn. Okay. So next up, I'm going to add four garlic cloves. Okay, so that's fine. I'm just going to give this a very good stir. Now, fried or fried rice is a pretty colorful and very beautiful dish. So I'm, using, I'm going to be using about five different kinds of vegetables. I'm adding my carrots first just so they can take away all of the crunch from the carrots. When you're dealing with vegetables, it's very important that you know your vegetables. Vegetables are pretty sensitive when they come in contact with heat. So if you do not know how to cook them, you'll probably end up um, losing all the nutrients and the beautiful colors of the vegetables. I'm just gonna leave this to saute for another two minutes, just to get away all of that crunch. My heat has been set to medium. I already like the color. <laughs> now it's time to bring in some Asian flavors. Hey, I know that ofada rice is a local dish and should be made with local ingredients. But in my kitchen, there are no rules whatsoever. So I'm gonna use one spoon, one cooking spoon of soy sauce. Just gonna add that into my pot. And of course, one cooking spoon of oyster sauce. I cook with these ingredients a lot. And I must also add that the soy sauce you should use are, uh, is the light soy sauce and not the um, dark ones. The dark ones tend to discolorize your meal and make them really, really pretty dark. And I'm also going to use um, one cooking spoon of blended sesame oil. These three Asian ingredients are my absolute favorite Asian ingredients. So I'm just going to give this a stir and bring it to a light simmer for about a minute or two. Remember my heat has been set to medium, it's very important so that you do not burn your meal and then your meals don't get overcooked as if you reduce the heat too low. Now it's time to bring in the star of this dish which of course is the ofada rice. My ofada rice has been pre-cooked, it's 99% cooked already so I'm just going to turn it into my pot gently. Look at those brown strips on the ofada rice, set this aside and then just give it a good stir just to combine all of the ingredients together. It's already looking good just as is. <laughs> and it smells so nice as well. So this is perfectly combined. Now for more taste, I'm gonna add um, a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Thyme is actually one of my favorite ingredients to cook with. Half a teaspoon of, um, of curry powder. Scatter that all around. I'm going to be using some chicken seasoning. Remember, I'm serving this dish with fried chicken, so it's just normal or just okay to use chicken seasoning, some chicken seasoning. And of course, I'm going to use some ground chili pepper. I like my food hot and very spicy, so in goes some pepper. And of course, a sprinkle of salt for taste. And then I'm just going to give this one good stir. Combine all of these ingredients together. Now what I'm gonna do is leave it to cook for three minutes so that all of those ingredients will just, all the flavor from the ingredients will go into the rice. So now it's time to add the remaining vegetables. I presume that all of the flavors have gone into the rice now and it's gonna taste really great. I'm adding my vegetables last so that I would retain its crunchiness and of course its color. I love its beautiful color. This is a colorful dish. So this is red bell pepper. I'm using half a cup of red bell pepper. And of course, a quarter cup of spring onions. The colors are coming together. <laughs> and of course, I'm using sweet corn. There's no dish, or rather there's no fried or fried rice dish without sweet corn. Look at all of those colors. 
And finally, I'm using a quarter of a cup of green bell pepper. What a burst of colors. I so know that God intended that all of our meals should be pretty colorful. That's why he made all of our vegetables come in different colors and different beautiful and amazing colors. I'd advise strictly that you do not use a lot of vegetables so that um, the vegetables don't now overshadow the real style of the dish with as rich as your father rice. So use them in minimal quantity. It's very important that your rice remains the star and stands out even amongst all of the beautiful and colorful vegetables. So it's just one final stare. And we're done. I'm just gonna turn up the heat immediately. So this is fried ofata rice with fried chicken for my brother and I. <laughs> Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get instant notification each time a video is uploaded and follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram as Delicious Foods. For details of this recipe and other recipes, kindly visit our website www.deliciousfoods.com. All right, it's time for me to say bye-bye because I have to go and eat. I'll see you all later. Take care.